In celebration of Black History Month, we are at WRTV. We are putting the focus on black owned businesses. It's part of our We're Open series, which is an effort to highlight business owners, the challenges they are facing, and their continued fight to stay open during the pandemic. Our Nicole Griffin takes us to Lawrence, where the owner of a local Jamaican restaurant shares the highs and lows of this past year. Our focus is just to bring authentic Caribbean food to the community, as well as the culture in a vibrant atmosphere. After six years of operating the Blue Lagoon in Broad Ripple, Graham Levy is now closer to home. I've lived in this neighborhood since 1998, and I kind of saw a niche for something like this in the neighborhood. He relocated the Jamaican kitchen three years ago to Pendleton Pike near East 62nd Street in Oaklandon. If you've ever been to the Caribbean before, the moment you approach the restaurant and definitely when you come through the door, it takes you right back. The, the music, the vibrancy of the decor, the colors, the scenery. Like most business owners, Levy says there's been positives and negatives this past year during the pandemic. Takeout business and delivery business increased dramatically. Of course, the dining business took a hit. So that has been one of our focus here as of late. He says the business has seen success with their food trucks despite event cancellations, which would typically fill the schedule. Between April and October, the Blue Lagoon food truck was booked in local neighborhoods. With the pandemic and the stay at home order from the governor, a lot of neighborhoods, apartment complexes, uh, subdivisions um, had a need or requested food trucks coming out to their location. As a black business owner, Levy appreciates the ongoing support from the community, allowing him to stay open for all of these years. He's hopeful the support not only continues, but grows even more in 2021. People are still cautious. People are still concerned. Um, so we kind of take it in stride. Working for you, Nicole Griffin, WRTV. The sp this, excuse me, this spring, Levy plans to build an outdoor seating area with about 30 seats. If you want to visit the food truck, he says they typically post their location on their social media pages. And right now on WRTV.com and the WRTV News app, you can find all of our Black History Month stories.